so first equalities. Obviously, we hope that you are a Monash student. It'd be very odd if you weren't, and that you're just going to be in this program and rock up to Clayton two to three times a week in the shirt. Um, we also want you to be a current MSA volunteer. So um, if you have signed up as a host year, you might not have signed up as an MSA volunteer as well. So make sure you do that. It's for our HS reasons. Um, we just make sure we have all the details of you um, so that if anything happened, I've got someone to call for your emergency contact, that sort of stuff. We also want you just for quality control. Oh, yes. Um, if you do you want to email me and then I can check and then I'll let you know. And that's the same with everyone else, that's fine. Um, hopefully it's not all of you. <laughs> um, also, we need you to have a working with children's check, the current one. Now, this is free. All you need is a uh, post, uh, sorry, a passport photo. Um, and you go to the uh, post office. I've got you uh, in your red or orange book. Sorry, I've got guidelines of how to fill it out. Um, it's very simple. Um, it's always free if you're a volunteer. So just make sure that you get it. It's more of a quality control for us, and we make sure all our volunteers have a working with children's check. Um, we obviously want you to be friendly and outgoing. Um, lucky for us, we uh, usually attract those sorts of people anyway to these kind of programs. Um, and we want you to have an understanding of the diversity at Monash. Like I said, there is 28,000 students or over um, on campus, so there's quite a few of you and they're all, you're all different. Um, and we want you to be encouraging and supportive of other students. So I hope that you being attracted to this program already tells us that that's what you want to do. Now, you are considered ambassadors of MSA Team Monash and Monash University. Um, we want you to act that way. So please be professional when you're at arm's length of a student when you do have your host here at Carol on. Um, and we do want you to abide by the rules. Expectations. This is a big one, and it's something that people just do naturally sometimes, just from their own experience. You're not able to give academic advice, you're not qualified to. If you have someone that wants some information um, that is academic related, point them to, your, to their faculty. Uh, the reason being is that you don't want to be responsible for someone having to do an extra semester because the information you gave them was out of date, that sort of stuff. Um, you're also, as an ambassador, you're also expected to kind of let people know if things are going wrong. So if it's an issue with security, call security. If it's a first aid issue, call security still. Um, and don't feel afraid to, to uh, refer people, people sorry, to the Monash Counselling Service. Um, it's best for a professional to decide whether or not that person needs um, further treatment rather than yourself because you're not qualified to. We hope to give you a bit of knowledge um, and understanding about it this afternoon with the mental health training, um, but you aren't a counsellor, so um, that's not your responsibility. Leave it up to the professionals. Um, and remember, the purpose of this program is to better the student experience. As mentioned before, we do expect you to wear the host year apparel two to three times a week. Um, if you're having a bad day and you think that visually you're not going to be a very good representative of someone that's trying to lure people to them to ask questions, have a day off. All right, That's not what we want because your uh, personal interaction with them, if it's negative, then you're going to affect other volunteers in the program. Um, no smoking in your host year apparel. This should be standard. Most volunteer organisations don't allow this, um, or at least I know I don't with host scheme. If you do want to smoke, put a hoodie on or t-shirt or anything of that sort, because we don't want to be associated with bad health. Um, if you, ooh, if people aren't asking you questions, do ask yourself if there's a reason for that. If it's because you're not showing um, or you're not looking approachable. Um, it's usually something of that sort, or you've just been in a cocoon in the library um, and not really in a place where there's high traffic. Um, but part of this is supposed to be to fit in with your lifestyle, um, and hopefully you're moving around to different lectures and labs and people will see you in your attire. And remember to smile. 